Termites are soft-bodied insects commonly known as white ants. They are small in size, 4 to 11 millimeters, and have three distinct body parts namely, the head, thorax and abdomen. Termite colonies have a number of different looking individuals known as castes. Each caste has its own duties within a colony. The largest member in a termite colony is the termite queen. Incidentally, it is also the longest living insect in the world. Termites are insects from the order Isoptera. The name being derived from their having equally sized wings, iso equals equal and tyran equals wing. The wings, when present, are long, slender, in two pairs, and of similar size and shape. These are usually shed following a short nuptial flight, after which males and females pair up to start a new colony. Termites are social insects, characterized by the allotment of labor within the castes with the sharing of food, shelter and resources and cooperation in rearing the young. The castes include the worker, soldier and reproductive. Social groups of subterranean termites are composed of both males and females, unlike most other social insects, where the majority of members are females. Termites are very small and similar in size to ants, which often leads to confusion. There are also several different types of termites, which can make figuring out which control method to use challenging. In fact, knowing the key differences between ants and termites is a good starting point for identification. Knowing the types of termites you're dealing with is the next key factor for professionals to determine. Owing to their secretive nature, termites can be hard to detect, especially with an untrained eye. You are far more likely to spot the signs of termite damage before you spot termites themselves. There are different types of termites, but there are some very destructive species that like warm, moist, areas. So, cities and areas like Los Angeles, Phoenix, Tucson, Seattle, and San Francisco can be affected by these species of termite. As with any other pest, correct identification ensures the use of the most effective termite control methods and allows you to choose the most appropriate prevention steps to try and avoid problems in the future. You can discuss termite treatment options such as chemical barriers, fumigation, or other methods to keep termites away. Termites or ants? Do termites really look like ants? Termite swarmers can look like flying ants, and the two are often confused. Accurate identification is the first step to controlling termites and understanding the difference between these two pests will inform the next steps and measures needed to control infestations on your property. There are three main morphological differences that distinguish winged termites from winged ants. Termites have beaded antennae that are straight to slightly curved, while ants have a pair of distinct elbowed antennae. Winged termites have a broad waist, unlike that of ants which is constricted. Termite wings are of the same size, whilst the front pair on ants are much longer. Types of termites Western subterranean termites By far the most destructive and widespread species in the US, western subterranean termites live in underground colonies. Rather than embracing moisture like damp wood termites, they live between it, below the frost line, but above the water table. Western subterranean termites are claustrophobic and build mud tubes for safe passage, sheltered from the elements. Secondary colonies may live above ground if there is moisture, such as a leaky pipe. They prefer to eat soft woods, no spring wood is safe from them, but in the summer, they stick to newspapers as they cannot digest the lignin in the wood. If you find damaged wood on your property, and the holes appear like a honeycomb, it is likely the culprits are subterranean termites. Common in the western states, from British Columbia, south to western Mexico and east to Idaho and Nevada, a crack less than 1 16th inch, 1 to 2 millimeters, is all the clearance a western subterranean termite requires for access into your property. Formosan termites this Formosan subterranean termite soldier measures about a half inch long. Its head is darker and oval in shape, it has a rounded abdomen, a thick waist, straight antennae, and no eyes. Like the eastern subterranean soldiers, Formosan soldiers have powerful jaws to defend their colonies. 
Formosan termites were spread by marine commerce and as one of the most destructive termite species in the United States, now cause millions of dollars of structural damage in the southeastern United States California and Hawaii each year. They can multiply and destroy wood structures faster than other native subterranean species. They don't actually eat faster than other termites, but their nests are enormous and can contain millions of termites. Drywood termites. Drywood termites live in smaller colonies than their subterranean cousins. They nest and feed in dry, sound wood, making them a significant pest of wood frame homes. Like most termites, drywood termites eat structural wood from the inside out, leaving a brittle shell. Unlike some other types of termites, however, they don't need access to damp conditions. Many species of drywood termites live in the southern half of the United States, with a range extending from California to North Carolina and southward. Most are 1 4th to 3 8 inches long. One way to distinguish drywood termites from subterranean termites is to examine their waste. Drywood termites produce dry fecal pellets which they expel from their nests through small holes in the wood. Subterranean termite feces is liquid. Eastern wing termites. The reproductive termites, called elates, look quite different from workers or soldiers. Reproductives have one pair of wings of almost equal length, which lie flat against the termite's back when it's at rest. Their bodies are darker in color than soldiers or workers, and elates do have functional compound eyes. You can distinguish reproductive termites from reproductive ants, which also have wings, by looking at their bodies. Termitolates have the characteristic straight antennae, rounded abdomens, and thick waists, while ants, in contrast, have markedly elbowed antennae, pronounced waistlines, and slightly pointed abdomens. Eastern subterranean termites usually swarm during the daytime, between the months of February and April. Winged queens and kings emerge en masse, ready to mate and start new colonies. Their bodies are dark brown or black. If you find groups of winged termites inside your home, you probably already have a termite infestation. Formosian wing termites. Unlike native subterranean termites that swarm during the day, Formosan termites typically swarm from dusk until midnight. They also swarm later in the season than most other termites, usually between April and June. If you compare Formosan elates to the eastern subterranean reproductives from the previous image, you'll notice the Formosan termites are a lighter color. They have yellowish-brown bodies and wings that are a smoky color. Formosan termites are also noticeably larger than native termites. Dampwood termites as their name suggests, you will find damp wood termites infesting wood with a high moisture content, decaying wood such as tree stumps or old wood stores around your property. Damp wood termites rarely end up inside a property as dry wood is generally used for building, but they may well be eating the utility pole right next to your home. Damp wood termites are commonly found on and adjacent to the western coast of the U.S., the desert or semi-arid southwest and southern Florida. Termite Queens The termite queen looks quite different from the workers or soldiers. In fact, with her expansive stomach full of eggs, she barely resembles an insect at all. Termite queens have a physogastric stomach. This internal membrane expands as she ages, and her egg-laying capacity increases. Depending on the species of termite, the queen may lay hundreds or sometimes thousands of eggs per day. Termite queens live extraordinarily long lives. A lifespan of 15 to 30 years, or more, is not uncommon. Termite damage Termites can do extensive damage inside walls and floors, often without detection. Since termites eat wood from the inside out, you probably won't find them until your home is infested, and you're more likely to see signs of damage than the bugs themselves. Sawdust or sand-like material near windows and door frames, which could be droppings of dry wood termites. You may also notice tiny holes where sawdust has accumulated. Mud tubes are structures that subterranean termites build to connect the nest to the source of wood. 
Check outdoors and indoors at the base of your home where the frame connects to the foundation, and scan your crawl space or basement if you have one, for the brown, branching structures. They can also hang from joists, so check the floor beams as well. Look for accumulations of dry fecal pellets left behind by dry wood termites. Shed wings from the swarmer termites or the bugs themselves can often be found near windows or windowsills. Swarmers are attracted to light so check under outdoor fixtures. Does wood framing sound hollow when you tap it? You might have termites. Do you have wood that looks water damaged, but it hasn't been exposed to water? You might have termites. If your painted or varnished wood or drywall is blistering, you might have termites. If you notice damage across the wood grain, you might have termites.